Conservatory Land's bespoke conservatories are a simple solution, suitable for both DIY projects and professional installation. All required fixings are supplied and any additional materials should be purchased before you begin. Your conservatory parts are colour-coded and these refer to the base, frames and roof. Firstly, you need to measure the area you plan to build on. Then, using the pad plan provided, identify where the pad should be placed. In this example, we are building on an existing patio. However, the modular base section can be used on most ground types. See your instruction manual for further details. Once you have marked out all of the pad locations and you are confident in their placement, subject to ground conditions, dig out a hole a minimum of 450mm square and a minimum of 450mm deep. Once you have dug out all the holes, line using post cement and place the foundation block on top. In this example, we are using post cement, however concrete may also be used. Fill any gaps around the foundation block with post cement and set with water, ensuring the surface is level. Do this for all pads and then allow to set. Identify the first base section using the pad plan provided. Each base is numbered and should be installed in number order. Start by fitting the lock nuts to the adjustable feet, then attach to the underside of each base section. Lay down the first base frame against the property wall as shown on the plan. Then adjust the leg height until the base is level. You should use a spirit level to do this. When positioning the steel base, ensure you leave enough clearance for the chipboard flooring and any other floor covering to be installed before securing to your house wall. To secure the base to the external wall of the building, drill a pilot hole and then secure with the 150mm thunderbolts and do this for both holes in each base section. We are showing an impact driver being used. However, a simple handheld ratchet spanner can also be used. Place base section 2 into position and connect with section 1 using the 100mm bolts. Again, ensure everything is level by adjusting the leg heights where needed. Then, tighten the lock nuts. Once this is complete, attach to the building wall as before. Repeat this for all base sections in order, ensuring that they are all level and using the 100mm bolts to secure each section together. Once your bases are connected and secured, you can begin adding the insulation. Install the insulation support tabs to the base frame sections. Once complete, measure out the size required for the insulation sheet. Cut out the measured sections of insulation using a saw and fit into the base sections. The insulation should fit snugly into the gaps. Once all insulation has been fitted, it's time for the flooring. Start by laying down a section of flooring onto the base, as detailed in the instructions. Lay the first piece level with the edge of the base section. You'll need to measure and trim down the flooring sections to fit your bespoke conservatory. Once the first full edge of flooring is cut to size, pre-drill, then secure using the 45mm self-tapping screws. Now you can work across the base section from one side to the other, measuring and cutting as you go. The flooring panels connect together easily and this connecting edge should also be glued. Once the flooring is complete, cover with a suitable polythene sheet, ensuring it overlaps the base section to keep the flooring clean and dry during the rest of the construction. Next, lay out the skirts according to the instructions provided. The skirts have been numbered to help you and will only fit correctly in order. Starting at skirt number one, positioning it against the wall over the polythene sheet. The skirt should be perfectly level with the top of the flooring. Fix the skirt into the base using 45mm countersunk screws. Next, fit the second skirt alongside the first one, ensuring it's level and fix this into place. Repeating for each and every skirt, ensuring they are perfectly level. When fitting a corner skirt, the skirts are designed to overlap, but you may need to trim the skirt height to ensure the brick course is a level. Now the base is constructed, it's time to add the walls. Your walls are also numbered and correspond to your wall plan provided. 
identify the first wall section required. In this example, the door is the first element next to the property. So we are measuring out the size of the door aperture to ensure our first wall section is in the correct position. Before adding any wall sections, add a line of silicon to the top of the skirt to provide a weather-tight seal. Make sure the wall section is in line with the skirting before you secure into place. Secure the wall section onto the steel base by first pre-drilling, then fix down using the 45mm self-tapping screws provided. Now add the wall sections together as per your plan, ensuring that you add a line of silicon to the skirt before placing and securing to the base. Add a further line of silicon to the sides of each wall section and use the 25mm bolts to fasten each wall section together. When it comes to securing the wall sections to the exterior of the property, first drill a 6mm pilot hole, having first checked for hidden wires or pipes. Then attach the wall sections with the 50mm director brick fixings. In this example, there is a full height wall, however, not all conservatories will have this. If your bespoke conservatory requires a full height wall, use the 25mm nuts and bolts to build the wall upwards. You have now fully constructed the conserver base and can move on to the frames.